Hello there. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the SysInternals Sysmon. First thing I need to do is download Sysmon from the SysInternals website. I can do that manually through the website itself, or I can use a command line tool like PowerShell to download the file for me. I'm going to use PowerShell in this instance, so I'm using Invoke Web Request to download sysmon.zip. OK, now that that's downloaded, I can expand it and have a look at what we've got. That's created a folder for me. I need to go into the folder and have a look at what's in there. And we can see there's a sysmon executable file. That's what I need to run if I'm going to install sysmon. Before we do that, let's just have a little look at what command line options are available. That was quite a lot of information that scrolled onto the screen. But the most important thing for us at the moment is that we can see there's a dash i option to install sysmon on the computer itself. I've decided I'd like to grab some uh, network information as well, and we can see the dash n option for log network connections. So I'm going to add that to my command line, and also down at the bottom of the information here on the screen, you can see accept EULA or accept EULA. This allows us to install Sysmon in a quiet mode, which doesn't bring any kind of pop up box up on the screen asking us to accept a licensing agreement. So I've got three options, dash I, dash N, and dash accept EULA, which I'm going to use while I'm installing Sysmon. There we go. So Sysmon has installed. It's installed a driver and it's installed a service. We can check to see that those things are, are in fact installed and running. There's the Sysmon service running. And there's a log Microsoft Windows Sysmon operational. We can have a look at what's happening with that log using get win event. And we can see that there's uh, information already being logged in that log by Sysmon itself. So it started logging activity as soon as it was installed. If we've decided we've had enough fun with Sysmon on the computer and we need to remove it, we can use the Sysmon minus U option. And there we can see it's removed the driver and it's removed the service. And we can just check on that manually if we like. No service found named Sysmon and no log found named Sysmon either. So that was how to install Sysmon on a workstation and how to remove Sysmon from a workstation. Thanks for watching this video.